what it, I would like to know, like as a person who would like to make change in my community, I want I would like to know some statistics, like what are what are the highest offenses in Monticello and things like that. Like what should I be worried about? Well, I mean, obviously we've always got a, a drug situation. We've got heroin, which has made a raging comeback. Yeah. Cocaine, yeah. with a big overdose problem here in Monticello. Uh, better to put them in prison or jail or to like a rehab center. We have a drug court in our county. And we do try to divert people who are addicted to substances. Uh, we do not divert people who uh, have engaged in violent crime. And stereotyping is a serious issue. How can we get law enforcement to assist their people who protect and serve to be more approachable? Got to break bread. Huh? Break bread. Break bread. So how do you break bread? You sit and do like we're doing now. Absolutely. Well, you have to eat. Mix, yeah. And you have to eat. You have to eat. have to eat. You have to eat. That's right. Uh, but that's, I think that's the way you do it. You make, you make a human connection. I think, I think you have to have a dialogue. I think you have to have a dialogue. And you have to have a dialogue with police officers that, that you're encountering. Not just the chief, but the police officers that you have occasion to see. I think that dialogue has to involve the concerns that you have, so they understand your concerns. They can then tell you their concerns. Have any of you watched that live feed? Okay. <laughs> is, do you feel like everyone needs to go to jail? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, and that's why we have a variety of sanctions. Uh, we have sanctions from as low as fines in some certain situations. We, we impose a fine, put people on probation so that they're supervised in the community. Sometimes we do deferred adjudications. We try to give people a chance. I remember 